We're back. Here we are. Suspenders day two. God, they're comfortable. Keep my pants from falling out. Better than a belt. I, I, I do think they're better than a belt sometimes. I wear belts and suspenders quite a bit, so I do. My pants fall off a lot. I can't help it. Anyway, thanks for joining us. We're going to talk about why guitar shops need to earn your business again. Dope. And how you can look for the shops that will actually help you do that and why it matters. And if it's you like this stuff, click like, subscribe. Don't forget the bell. I forget the bell all the time. Always. always. I, I do, because like, you click the like and subscribe, and I, th- and I feel like I'm done. That's it. It's not. And then the bell. The bell. There's nothing else to click. No. No. No, that's kind of it. So we're, we, we've entered this sort of strange cycle. There's been like this explosion of guitars and explosion of guitar buying, right? Thank goodness. I know. The world is going to be awesome. We're going to have some of the best rock bands in years will be coming out in the next four years, I think. It's true. I, I'm pretty excited about it. We're going to have like lots of young cats that have learned it. But there's a changing sort of cycle now. There's a little bit of a production is caught up uh, for the most part. is catching up. A lot of shops have sort of... Some have done really well through the pandemic. Some have struggled. Yes. And some have sort of disappeared. But manufacturers have taken notes of the shops that really provide a higher level of service. And this is just numbers, sometimes a higher level of, of sell-through. Right. Um, so, And then they reward those shops with faster inventory turn, better inventory, <clears throat> and more options and more choices and just all sorts of things that keep going on top of that. It it is funny. I do feel like we've seen that a lot with manufacturers, right? Like where they're really starting. used to just be, well, you get what you get, you're in line. And now there seems to be a little turn towards, hey, you guys are crushing it. You're providing optimum service. We're going to try to work with you and make make sure that you can continue to do that. Um, We're really confused that we are considered part of that strange world. It doesn't make any sense because we are not intelligent people. But, um... I felt like Mr. Anderson, like Agent Smith, was talking for a minute. Almost came in there, Mr. Anderson or Neo. Um, God, I love those guys. The original movie, one of the best ever. Don't watch the latest one. Yeah, um, it was a little rough. No, it's, it's strange. It's, um, so when you, when you choose to get a guitar, and we're not saying get it from us, get it from the shops that really do earn your business now. Yeah. It's, um, there, there's... You should be able to talk to the people about said guitar. If there's a guitar they have on the wall, it's okay to ask them like what they think about it. This is the simple stuff. Um, they're going to tell you it's great probably because they just want to sell it. But no, like, get into it honestly. If there's like multiple of that guitar, like we have no problem like playing them all and telling you like which ones we think are better or what you're actually looking for because every guitar speaks differently. True. And we've done that multiple times. Lots of times. Particularly with acoustics too, like a Taylor guitars. If some, because we have like multiple lines of uh, multiple the um, of the same line. I mean, like multiple of the same guitar. And like, hey, I'm looking for one that sounds kind of like this. I want the most bass possible. I want the most treble. No yeah. one's ever said that. <laughs> I want no bass. Um, but uh, or like, are they? Like, which one do you think plays the best? Or like, can you? And we'll go through them all. And, like we're very honest. Or well, I mean, we've all done. You know, I was thinking. A few weeks ago, I was sitting in the acoustic room, the Martin room, with the phone on the counter, <laughs> playing different ones. Not even necessarily so that the customer could hear, but because we were talking, he's like, what are you thinking? I was like, well, I, you know, I kind of wanted a fresh listen to the guitars we were talking about. So he's listening on the phone. I'm playing. <laughs> and then we get on the phone, and we both agreed with what we heard from a t- particular model. And it was actually not what I expected. Um no, so sometimes we're answer. surprised too because it helps because right. we have these preconceived ideas Everyone of knows. what this guitar is going to sound like. Then we go get our hands on it. It's not always the same. Sometimes yeah. the most expensive guitar is not the best guitar. That's true. And we are very honest about with that, how we think. And sometimes the customer will end up buying the more expensive one still because that's what they want. Yeah. And they yeah, sort of, fun. you fall in love with that one on the internet. Um, but yeah, we, we say, hey, if it was me, I would buy this one. I think it sounds better. It doesn't have the pretty inlays, but... Right. Now you jump into when you start doing custom builds or custom guitars and you're in, the, let's say, the custom shop for either Gibson or Fender or PRS in the private stock or even some of the other brands and like boutique stuff in particular. Who's going to take the time with you and really develop that? And not just the time. It doesn't matter how much time you spend if you don't know what you're talking about. True. That's you know, like I have some friends in shops that like they, they, 
they, they, you know, the, the great ones are one thing, but some of the other ones that they don't, they don't know how to really do that. They'll still try to, but it's like, it's hard. Like knowing everything about the custom shop on each of these makers is a lot to know. There is. We just don't have lives. Also true. I'm literally here. If I'm here in town, I'm here seven days a week. Yes. Every day. And it's, that's every day. Um, and like, you know, from, you know, a little before eight in the morning till whenever it's over, you know, we were on phone calls on Father's Day, you know, it's when the, after the shop is well closed. It's just part of what we do because we like guitars. That right. I mean, that's, um, you know. Other shops we know out there are very similar like that. There's people that are obsessed. I've mentioned Wildwood before. I've mentioned Music Villa. If you haven't been to Music Villa and Paul Decker's little strange place, you're missing out hugely. One of the coolest acoustic sections ever. But all those people, that's sort of, that's what they do and they happen to also work in or own or run a music shop, right? Like we'd be doing that either way because we love guitars. And I think that's probably the common thread with these, these shops that we're talking about where, you know, it's just part of their life. It's the thing they're passionate about. I mean, even, even Carlos, like, I mean, from, um, from Chuck Levins, like he, he calls me like at random times, pretty late at night time. And I know he's like, he's, he's like in the middle of a dance competition, I think. Like he, not like in the, he's not on the floor. He's like in between his dancing. Having a breather, you know. Yeah, he's in like in his partner. And uh, he's been calling me like, give me some news on like Gibson or give me some news on like PRS or like our Fender or something that he thinks is funny. Like, oh my God, you see like the new Poodle Lego that Fender came out with. Well, then, you know, it's you, not a thing. You'll tell cool. me about talking to Carlos. Like he's fired up. Because I just He's, imagine he he cares about he it cares. a lot. He right? likes this too. Like I'm, yeah. yeah, right. And like I remember before all of us were in like remember back to young Jonathan before all of us were in the guitar game. Like you're like man, that'd be so cool to be in it, and it really is. Like it, yeah, I mean like I love it. Like we have so we have a lot of forms to go through for the custom shop builds yes. that people want to do that we've gotten in, and if you send in to us and we haven't gotten back with you in a day or two sometimes we're a week behind before we can even get back to you. It just takes a while. That's true. Yeah. We try to get you on the yeah. same day or two. But Sometimes. like it happens and like we, we feel bad about it, but we're just trying because there's a lot and like we'll be on the phone for probably an hour. Oh man, yeah. At e easy. Least. Sometimes I have, more. I have some email chains that are over a hundred emails at this point for one build, plus the multiple hour phone call conversations to get the right guitar done. That's something a lot of shops just don't have the time or the ability to do. And that's okay. It's not disparaging. They just they, they sell drums and keyboards and <laughs> tambourines and we don't know what those are. No, no. We're, we're just dumb enough that we don't want to do that. Or people ask, like, do you guys sell banjos? And what do I always say? If you sell banjos, you got to put up with banjo players. No, that's not what I say. <laughs> that's not my answer. That's, that's the, the end result, though. I say, have you met a banjo player? That's true. And that's then that's, that's the, the answer is what John yeah. just said. <laughs> like, well, I don't get it. I'm like, no offense if you're a banjo player out there. But if you are, you know what I'm talking about. You guys are weird. <laughs> you're strange. Uh, Your friends think you're weird. Don't think you ain't. Every banjo yeah. player I met is odd and strange, and I like them. But they're we don't want to deal with more than one at a time. That's why we can't sell banjos. Mandolin players are the same way. <laughs> Not as bad. They're kind of like guitar players and violin players had like a baby. To me, it's like weirdly enough, it is like that. Yeah. As long as they're not like just yeah, never mind. Yeah. Um, like terms are going to become a thing again because yeah, we've talked about that with the. It, you know, with kind of the interest rates are going up, tightening of the economy a bit, being able to negotiate terms, if there's layaway functions you need to take care of, like just to be able to afford some of these pieces. We've talked about how it's actually a good time to buy right now. And we don't care if you do it from us or anybody, but like if you're doing one of these customers because it will be probably a year before you see anything. By that point, hopefully recovery is upon us. I think it will be. I'm an optimist though. I'm also stupid. What else do you think? We shall see. <laughs> I hope you're right. That's I hope it. you're correct, sir. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, just just find places that that you feel care about the instruments you're getting. Feel that they like, you know, they enjoy talking to and interacting with you. It, I mean, there's just you know, there's no sense at this point to go into a place where you're just a number and they don't care, and you know, days over, and so they don't think about it again, you know, until until their next shift. There's just there's too many great shops, small no, shops. No, like, even really. like if you're in South Carolina and you haven't yeah. been to Sims Music, you're missing out. Like, ask yeah. for Justin or ask for his dad, Jerry. But um, Justin is like, he, yeah, he's not a guitar player, really. That's the only problem with him. He plays drums. 
but he really knows how to take care of you. No, he's, he's just a fun guy to deal with. I think he just had a baby too. Well, cool. Not just, he had a while back. Um, on a side note, shout out to my friend in France. I'm not saying your name, I don't do that, but um, we hope you get better. I have this mustache just for you for this week, for a few days. I gotta cut it off later today, I think. It's driving me nuts because it itches. And my wife's not kissing me right now because of it. And I need those kisses. But um, we hope you're feeling better. Your wife seems amazing. You're a lucky, lucky man. Enjoy the videos. Um, thanks for it, keeping watching all of them too. Just go back from the beginning and watch those be shot on our iPhones back oh, in the first day. They're really dark and shady. Mm -hmm. You could do that. Michael Cagle's in some of those, and he's in the Air Force now. There you go. It was so, I think we were drinking so much when we shot those. It was so funny. Ethan Schneiderman's in a few of them. <laughs> it's like James Baxter, Ethan, Michael Cagle. It was ridiculous. They were terrible, but they're great. Like, go back to Casino Guitars, the first videos. Oh, my God. The beginning. Like, oh, thousands back. It's silly. Yeah. Scroll back. They're really bad. Be like, 30 views. Yeah, something like that, probably. Who knows? Um, so, thank you again for watching in France. Viva la France. And if you have a broken leg, knee, get that thing fixed on the road to recovery. Now, back to guitars. Back to guitars. Um, yeah, what Jonathan was saying was the, the people that care about it, the people that are passionate, and like it is, somebody that will take time with you, but really knows their stuff, too. Right. Like, all the shops you mentioned, these guys know their stuff. They know it backwards and forwards. They're great places. If you're in the UK and you haven't been by Peach, you haven't been by Anerton's, you're missing out hugely as well. Um, we know we got one of our friends who's going to Peach hopefully next week. I think. Oh, that's right. I forgot about oh, that. Oh, Jason, we're going to send him over there to um, meet up with the cats. We're going to make sure he has an appointment so there's no weird closure stuff. He's all vaxxed and all that stuff. I think we're gonna get, that. This like that's it, exporting a pretty much what America is is when this guy shows up. Yeah, he's a trip. Southern, killing dude. Like <laughs> he is Southern man. He, <laughs> He sums it all up nicely. I, I love this cat. He's, he's a trip. So I, I can't wait to hear his adventures with Peach. And I'm like, because I, I look at Peaches, those guys are pretty posh. I, I think so. You know, they're fancy. They're a little fancier. Jack than seems very, I. yes. Yeah. Well, Jack, I mean, Jack, like, he has, like, tea every day. At, I hope so. At noon. and I would, I would hate to find out otherwise. It would shatter, shatter my perception. Well, I mean, the stereotype of my, my UK and my Irish and Scottish friends and all, I, I don't want to offend anybody by calling them UK if they're not. So I'm just saying all the countries. I know if you're in the north of Ireland, it's different. You were part of the deal, whatever. But um, but the the tea is very serious over there. You yeah, remember you live there? It's very serious. I, I it's thought very, it was very, no. I thought it was a stereotype. No, mm -mm. no, no. He's like, I remember like getting tea. And, like you just have you don't have to just have a tea and like drink it and go walk. You sit there and have tea. It's a big deal. And, like tea and cake or whatever cookies, biscuits, biscuits. That's for what God's sake. Biscuits. biscuits. I know it's um, <sighs> it, but it's it's fun. Like, so, like you have tea and then like then later you meet up for drinks and you drink for a long time too. I think it's better. The United Kingdom, Irish, Northern Irish, Scottish, Welsh, they they, they have it down as far as like leisure time. That's true. They really do well with that. Because if you go to visit someone, it's just first thing, would you like a coffee or tea? And that's how I feel a guitar shop needs to kind of be. In a strange way, as far as when you come, hey, I would like to build a guitar with you. Well, let's sit down, let's get to know you a little bit first. Have a tea. Let's have a tea. We have a virtual tea because it's usually on the phone or the internet. But we're going to start with the virtual tea, get to know each other. I want to know what kind of player you are, how you play, what sounds you like, and then we'll start talking about the guitars. And maybe like, eh, what's your life's like? You know, and then just get to know you a bit. And That's part of the fun because we usually get to learn all those things about. It is fun. And customers. we've developed a lot of strange friends yes. over the course of these years now. And um, I feel bad for them that they're friends with us now. Eh, that's fine. It's okay. They could do worse. It's true. They really couldn't do worse. So um, enjoy the journey of finding a shop that works for you. Make them earn your business. You know, um, don't be mean. You're not trying to like be a jerk or anything. Ah, <laughs> like, oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Earn my You're business. You're not worthy of my but, business. <laughs> no, but, but <laughs> we all do have to earn your business. It's like it's it's been sort of this really unrealistic world the past two years. Um, we're back in the real world again. You can travel to your shops. You can choose which ones you like. It's true. If you don't like casino guitars, that's okay. Don't shop with us. If you don't like Anerton's or Peach or Wildwood or, you know, or Sims or Chuck Levin's or Music Filler and the shops I mentioned in this one video in particular, don't shop with them. Find the local shop you love. The Music Emporium's great too up in, um, I think it's North Cambridge or something like that. Sounds right. God, it's a cool shop. You see the outside, you're like, eh, whatever. Then you walk inside, ooh, whatever. <laughs> um, it's one of those shops. Um, find folks that are knowledgeable 
spend the time with you and help put the right guitar in your hand. That's the thing. That's it. That's fine. Hey, Tom, thanks for spending time with us today. We've enjoyed talking and that's all. Not getting too derailed. That's next. I got some ideas for the next time. Good night. Fairly well. Godspeed.